Hi, my name is Andrew with Razorback Off-Road and today we're excited to introduce one of our new folding windshields for the Razor Pro XP. And I'll get right into going over some of the components and the tools that you'll require to install this windshield. So when you receive your product in the mail, um, it's a good idea to lay out all the components and just make sure that you have everything before you install and you're not missing any hardware or anything like that. Um, so what will be included in your package here will be an upper visor. That's what the windshield will rest on. You'll have the main, main glass panel. You'll have the lower panel. You'll have the rests with the, which the windshield rests on and the other mounting brackets that, will, that you'll need to install the windshield. Um, you'll have, it'll include all the hardware necessary to mount it. I'll go into the tools that you'll need to install the windshield with. Um, you'll need a 716 socket, you'll need a T40 Torx bit, you'll need a number three Phillips, you'll need a 15 millimeter socket for the roll cage bolts, you'll need a 716 to install kind of the other smaller hardware components and I included a, an extension just in case you need it but you probably don't need it. Um, for the sakes of this video, I'm going to use an impact and if you do use an impact, just make sure you don't over tighten because you will potentially break bolts or damage something. So just a word of caution on that. So I'll go into the install or start the install right now. You'll need to start by taking off the roof on top. If your machine comes with one, you'll need a, a T4, that T40 Torx, Torx bit and you'll need You'll need to come into the back and there's two bolts that are located right here in the back and you'll need to make sure you remove those. Once you take that one out, you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Okay. And once you have those bolts removed, set this here. Okay. You're gonna wanna come in here and they've got these um, quick clips and you're gonna pop both of those off like that. And now the roof should lift up and then you just gently push back and the whole roof will come unclipped from the machine. And now you can go ahead and remove it. Remove it and just set it off to the side. For now, just kind of out of your way. Okay, so the next step is gonna be, we're gonna install the lower mount brackets. So with these, they come with these uh, rubber boots that cover the roll cage down here. And you wanna be careful when you lift them up because some of them do come with small speakers installed. So you just wanna gently raise it up. And then these speakers actually will just pop out. So you just kind of gently push it with your thumb and then pull out these speakers and just kind of gently set them down the side and then roll up the boot a little bit higher so it kind of exposes the lower, of the, uh, lower portion of the roll cage here. And you're gonna wanna do the same thing to the other side. So gently lift and then just kind of work that speaker out. Okay, it's not too hard. Okay, I'm just gonna raise the boot up. And then also, if your antenna, if your machine does come with an antenna, um, I do have another video on kind of how to um, rearrange it. So the thing is when this window comes down, you're gonna need to make sure that this is folded out of the way but I do have a video and we'll put a link into it on how to, where you could rotate it and then you could fold it down forward. So if you ever do want to fold your windshield down, you could fold it forward out of the way or you could keep it, it's up to you. But you can rotate these around, but for now I'm just going to um, lay it down so it's out of our way. So you're going to grab the 15 millimeter socket and you're just going to grab one of the roll cage bolts here. And then what you're going to want to do is you're gonna to wanna to just take just the upper bolt in the roll cage clamp here. You're gonna only take that one out and you're gonna, and be careful when you take it out because there is a recessed nut on here that you're gonna use and, and keep on the machine. 
So, so you're gonna take out the upper and just keep your hand on the backside here to prevent the, the nut from falling out because it's, it's gonna be a mess if it falls in the machine and you can't find it. So you're gonna take this out and you're gonna replace it with ours. Okay. Okay, you're gonna snug it up and before you move on to installing the rest of the components, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you check the manufacturer's specs and make sure you torque this bolt to the right uh, torque um, before you move on. So once you do that and you torque the bolt, then you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay. So once you have both bolts installed and torqued, we're gonna go ahead and move to the lower brackets. So I'll go ahead and explain the lower brackets that we provide. So how you can tell which is a left or which is a right is that you want to make sure these, the flange with the mounting holes is pointed towards the inside of the machine. So this is the right hand side or the passenger side and this is the left hand side or the driver side. So we'll start with the passenger side. So I'll grab this and you'll need to make sure you grab the flange nylock and we'll go ahead and install it. Okay, so this bracket comes with a bent tab and you're gonna face this tab towards the inside of this roll clamp here. And you're gonna just slide this on and make sure you're careful with your, with your nut here because it can fall into the machine. So just gently install this on. Don't drop it. Okay, then you're gonna go ahead and tighten that down all the way. Okay. And then you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So if you're having issues in these tighter areas, you might need to use a 50 millimeter box wrench here. And go ahead and tighten this down. So now that we have the lower brackets installed, we're gonna go ahead and actually reinstall the roof back on because we're gonna go move on to the upper visor. But the reason why I removed the roof was because I wanted to show you that we're gonna be using this mounting hole right here. So there's a welded bracket on the roll cage. We're gonna be using this mounting hole and that mounting hole as one of, or as a couple of the mounting locations for the visor. But if it comes with a stock roof, it's got the clips that actually wrap around the roll cage here. So you wanna kind of install them in conjunction with each other um, kind of at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the roof. So once you kind of get the roof into position, you're gonna pull the lower clamps out and just kind of rest them. Rest them over the cage, okay? And that way you can gently kind of get them into position, but we're not gonna go ahead and tighten it down yet because we kind of got to lift up on the roof a little bit to slide the upper visor in. So now I'll grab the visor. Okay. So you're gonna grab your visor and grab two of the carriage bolts and grab the non-stainless. So the difference between stainless and non-stainless is the non-stainless is a little bit more chrome-like and the stainless is a little bit more of like a matte finish. So you're gonna grab two carriage bolts and then the two of the flange nuts. We're gonna go ahead and install Okay, and this is what I mean. You kind of got to lift up, lift up the visor here and just take your time because this will want to have a tendency to fall on you, but go ahead and get the bolt into place and then just get the, the nut started here. Okay, and you're going to do the same thing to the other side. You might actually need to kind of just gently set this down just so it doesn't fall on you. You're gonna install it through here as well. So I'm just gonna gently lift 
and raise it into place and then get it started. So that's kind of step one. And now we're gonna grab two more brackets that will go and mount the lower portion of this. So I'll go ahead and grab those. So there's, we provide the roll, roll cage brackets and you're gonna grab the other two carriage bolts and the other two flange, flange nuts. And with these, they're gonna go in the other location that's on this visor. So you're gonna put the clamp on the bottom and then you're gonna come in through the top and you're gonna just get them started. Okay, and once that's started, we'll tighten them down later. You're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Okay, all right, so once you have your hardware started, now this is kind of the important part you're going to actually go ahead, so you're going to get your roof clamped into place. So, once your roof is clamped, don't forget to also install the bolts that we took out in the beginning in the back and then your roof will be secure. But we want this the visor will put a really nice seal that's across these clamps, so that's kind of why we want to you to install them kind of with each other. And in the next part, we're gonna go ahead and tighten everything down, and I'll go over the tools that you need for that. So for that, you're gonna want a 7 16 socket, and you don't need any other hardware or anything. And you're gonna come over here, You're gonna just wanna make sure, you're gonna have to probably reach up underneath here and hold it down. Okay, but you're gonna go ahead and try to make sure that you're pushing up as much as possible to get a good seal and then tighten that bolt down. Okay, and you're gonna do the lower lower bar clamp here as well. And just be careful, don't over tighten it. But you get, you get these tight and then you're gonna do the same thing to the other side, okay? Like I said, you wanna make sure that the visor's all the way up and I'm just kinda holding the top of that carriage bolt with my finger and pushing up at the same time. And then you just gently tighten that and then do the lower clamp here until it's tight. So once you're done installing the upper visor, um, just remember that we took the boot off earlier. We're gonna wanna reinstall the boot back into place. And so you're gonna slide this down. Make sure you don't forget to install your speaker if you have them. So put those back into place. You're gonna just slide this down right over the bracket we installed earlier. And you're gonna just put it into place. Okay, and you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So before I go into the installation of the lower panel here, um, we do include a roll of gasket and what this is meant for is actually to be laid underneath your lower panel. So what I typically like to do is I'll grab the lower panel and I'll place it on here to kind of give me an idea of where it'll rest and then so I'll put it into place and then what I'll do is I'll grab a wet erase and I'll actually mark it. Um, before you mark it though, you wanna make sure you clean off any of the, um, these machines come uh, pretty slick from the factory and it's 
things don't stick to it very well, so you want to make sure you clean the surface really well before you do this. But you'll actually take your marker, once you kind of have this in place, you'll want to actually, you can actually draw a line kind of at the bottom of where that gasket will need to be installed. So you'll want to make a line all the way across and then that'll give you kind of a good idea of where you need to install your gasket and you can lay that on here to get a better seal at the bottom. But for the video, I'll just go ahead and just show you how to install it and then just to let you know that it comes with this. So to begin, you're gonna want the number three Phillips and you're also gonna want a 7 16 box wrench. I'm gonna set these off to the side for now. We'll just kind of get things started. So you can grab the lower panel You'll grab two of the, the pan head Phillips stainless screws and then two nylocks. And you're just gonna get it started. So you just lay the panel into place. Start with the bottom one, put the bottom one in first and just get it started for now. Okay, so I got that started. You do the same thing for the other side. bolt in place, get it started. I'm gonna grab the other two and install them as well. For the top bolt. So once you have the bolts in the place, you're not gonna tighten them down yet until we could get the glass up there. Um, reason being is we want to get the glass on there and then make sure that that we get this down far enough So it'll clear the visor and then the roof as well. So we're gonna go ahead and install the glass So you grab your glass panel and You'll go ahead and Place it onto your machine like so so get it get it into place and then we have the last two bolts that will go for the hinges. So just be careful. You might need to kind of move it in over into place a little bit. Okay. So just kind of get that window in place like so. And then you'll put the, the hinge bolts, hinge bolt through and just get that started as well. Okay, so once you get everything started, now you can kind of visually inspect um, your lower panel and see where it's at. And you'll wanna make sure that you move it into place to where you can turn the lock latches up here freely and your windshield is free and then also that this upper lip doesn't hit the tip of your roof if you were to open it. So just visually inspect everything, put it in place and now we're going to go ahead and start tightening all of the lower bolts for the panel and then also the hinges. So just visually inspect and make sure everything is kind of centered as best as you can. And I'm going to start with the lower one and just start tightening it. Okay. Just do one more check, make sure everything's kind of in place. Make adjust make adjustments if need be. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that. Okay, you're gonna do the same thing to the other side and then we'll come back through and tighten the, the last two. Just gonna make sure that everything is in place as best as I can. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and tighten the other ones now, once you're happy. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, and then just make sure that you tighten the hinges, but don't tighten the hinges too tight, otherwise it won't open. So just, it might even be better to use a hand, hand tool for this, but just get them to where they can still freely open. So once you have everything tight, just make sure your windshield opens freely and goes back. And then the last step that we're gonna do is install the lower mounts for the windshields. So for that, you're gonna need that T40 Torx and you're just gonna use the existing hardware that's on the machine. So the tell difference between the left and the right side is when you set them up again, you wanna make sure that the flange is bent towards the inside. So this is the right hand side and this is the left hand side, passenger, driver. So we'll start with the passenger side. And you're gonna take the existing hardware out. Okay. And you're just going to replace, place it or put it back. Get these started. And you kind of can visually inspect that the bracket follows the lines on the machine, so just align it as best as you can. And then go ahead and install it. And you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So once you've finished putting your lower brackets into place, just one more time visually inspect and check to make sure everything lines up perfectly and that the latches engage and you're happy with it. Because other than that, that completes, that completes the installation video for the front folding windshield for the Razor Pro XP. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Um, other than that, please enjoy our products and we hope to see you next time.